We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. And our family. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today we're making some delicious mustard and turnip greens mix, y'all along with some oven-baked cornbread. And here are our ingredients. Okay, y'all, let's get to cooking. Okay, in this pot, I am seasoning up my neck bones. Uh, I am only put this salt and pepper and uh, some sliced jalapenos in it and you can season yours up any way that you know to do it but this is the way I do mine so I'm going to cook these up until they become tender so what you do is you let these cook on a medium heat uh, we don't want to cook these too fast uh, so uh, just cook them where they just simmer until they become tender so i'm gonna continue to cook these and i'm gonna place a lid on them and cook them and then we're gonna go to our next step okay our neck bones are ready we are removing these from the pot and place them in a uh you know a bowl or container and set them to the side uh these are the tenderness that i want them and so I'm going to remove them and then I'm going to go to our next step. Also letting you all know that you do not have to use the pork neck bones. You can also use the smoked turkey meats like the turkey uh, uh, drums or the wings or whatever. Just cook them until they become tender and remove them and then go to the next step. Okay, I have finished removing our pork neck bones now. I'm adding a little water to it, just a little bit, uh, because we're beginning to start cooking our greens. And so I'm letting this become to a boil, and then we're gonna add our turnip and mustard greens. Our broth has came to a boil, and so here we're adding in our mustard and turnip greens. What I do, I just keep adding them to my pot. I will use a large spoon and just mash them down into the boiling hot broth, and they will cook. Uh, and what I do like about this, uh, they cook down so fast. They are uh, so easy to cook. The, the turnips and mustard greens are so simple. And also the collard greens, all of them is simple to cook. Um, and so what I'm doing, as y'all see, I just continue. I cook them down and just use my spoon and just um, press them down into the hot broth and just let them cook. And so um, what I like about this, uh, you don't have to use the fresh greens. You can also use the frozen greens. The frozen greens can cook just this is good and so just make this recipe yours you can use the fresh greens or the frozen greens and i even got a recipe for the canned greens we're going to continue this process until all the greens are in and and uh boiling i'm not going to be talking during this next process uh i'm going to continue to add my greens until they're all in the pot don't forget to add the lid.
okay, here I'm removing some of the, they call, used to call it liquor, green liquor, uh, out of the pot. And I'm placing it onto my pork neck bones. I don't want them to dry out. That's helping them not to dry out. But uh, just in case, I may need to put some more back in. Because, you know, the greens makes water themselves. And so uh, I'm removing some of the the liquid out of our greens. And so this is how I do mine. And so I'm con- going to continue to do this until I get to where I want the amount of uh, liquid in my greens. And so this is the way I want them right here. And so I'm stirring these greens around. And yes, this is what I'm looking for. I'm going to let these cook until they get to the desired texture that I want. I'm going to let these cook while I make our oven baked cornbread. Here in our bowl, we're adding our cornmeal and flour. Now our baking powder. Salt. And we're gonna mix these together. Here I'm adding a little sugar. This is optional. And we're going to well mix this together. Now we're adding our buttermilk. Sometimes it's hard for me to, you know, um, just give you exact amount. I'm using probably maybe a, a cup at a time um, because we don't want to put too much in there. So this is how I do mine. Here I'm adding two eggs. And we're going to continue to mix. And this is what I do instead of adding all buttermilk. But this is up to you. If you want to add all buttermilk, you can. But what I do, I add a little water. But you can add all buttermilk. And I'm going to mix this well. Okay, now it's time to get our pan ready for our cornbread. As y'all can see, somebody used a knife or something and made, <laughs> they made scratches in my um, pan, but that's okay. That's okay. And so I'm, let, I'm adding some oil to my cornbread mix, and I'm mixing this well. While I'm uh, mixing this, I have placed my pan in the oven in a 375 degree oven. I'm heating up my oil so when I uh, place my cornbread mixture in there, that's what helps the, the edges become crispy. Okay, our cornbread mixture is ready. Okay, I just removed our pan out of the oven. Uh, like I say, I always let it heat up in the oven before I place my uh, cornbread mixture in here. And so what I'm doing now, I'm uh, placing it all in. And then I'm going to go to each corner and bring the oil out, you know, so it won't be a lot of oil. But these, this oil is what helps your cornbread to have the crispy edges and that's why I always do because I remember my mother doing this and so uh I'm doing it and so um yes oh this is this is our cornbread and I'm about to place it in a 300 
in 75 degree oven until it becomes golden brown. Okay, let's check out our greens. Okay, while I'm waiting on my pan to get hot, I'm checking our greens. This is the texture that I'm looking for. So now we're adding our pork neck bones back into our pot. Like I say, it can be smoked turkey meat. And we're going to mix these in because remember they're already uh, done and ready uh, to eat. And so I'm just covering our neck bones up and I'm going to let them continue to cook down some just a little bit. And if you don't want all that broth in there, you can remove some, but I need mine for my cornbread. Somebody know what I'm talking about. You, then what you do now, you taste to see if it has enough salt or anything. And so I'm adding just a little salt in there because they, they did need salt. If you want to put jalapenos in it, you can. You can put more jalapenos in it if you prefer. Okay, our greens are ready. And I have cooked up our oven-baked cornbread. Now we're going to plate up this meal. Okay. Here I have placed my greens in, and I also have some old-fashioned rutabagas in over there. And y'all, this is all I needed. I didn't need any meat. All I wanted was this. This was my plate. I just wanted the greens, the rutabagas, and the cornbread, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed cooking with me as much as I always enjoy cooking with you all. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget that like button. Y'all, that like button helps my videos to go out. And so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell to get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all, as always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now. Love y'all, stay safe, and be blessed. And always remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Be blessed, everyone. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit!